feels better than coming home, taking off your shoes, and putting on some sandals. Yo, what? what? Socks and sandals? What is this? Don't hate, man. Don't hate. <laughs> I really don't think it's going to get any warmer here in Canada. I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm over it <laughs> by now. But I got some exciting news to share with you guys, actually. There's a new member to the Palander Studios family. Drum roll. We finally got a Synology NAS disk station. Long time coming, but it's here and I'm super excited. Can't wait to talk to you guys about it. Let's go. Now many of you already know that one of the biggest struggles for any content creator is storage. And I'm not talking about physical space of storing things like your bags and stuff like that. No, I'm talking about data storage. Now all those files that you've been storing away for the longest time in those small little hard drives, they have to go somewhere and unfortunately most of the time you probably don't even know what's on those hard drives or where you place them. Well this is why I partnered with Synology today to talk to you guys about one of the best things you could possibly do as a content creator for managing your data. And Maori, of course, had to help me throughout this process because it's not that easy. There's definitely a learning curve in setting up a NAS system. But the beauty of it is once that it's up and running, things just become so much better. Efficiency is there. You're able to connect with anyone that needs to have access to the files. And it just makes the workflow process so much more efficient. So if you're someone like me who has no idea what NAS or any of these storage devices were prior to like last month, I finally figured it all out. NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. It's essentially a server that allows you to access your files. You can do that at home, you can do that at work, or even remotely. So I could be potentially in Cuba sipping on a mojito on the beach and doing work. Oh, that's, that sounds amazing. Damn it. <laughs> the setup process is actually super easy. Thanks to the manuals and of course, YouTube. I currently have the Synology Disk Station DS1621XS Plus. This thing is like a computer. Basically manages data, it has a processor, RAM, and obviously storage capabilities. The DS1621XS Plus has six drive slots up to 16 terabytes, which is about 96 terabytes in total. A portion of the space can be used for redundancy in case there is a hard drive failure. Ultimately, the system has your back. I wish all my SSD drives could do the same. Now the best thing about the Synology setups is that they have so many different benefits. And I'm gonna list off various different benefits that would be useful for you and that have been super useful for me. One of them is that Synology allows for scalability, meaning that you can add up to 16 drives to your system using an extension unit which is called the DX517. Now with this, it allows you to really start small as a creator and expand as your data grows. And this is super useful for anyone who's, you know, venturing or progressing in their art. The best thing about Synology is that it has different sized units to fit your needs. And many units can even expand with expansion units. I have the DX517 which gives my unit an added 5 bays and I can add another one for a total of 16 bays as my data continues to grow. Another amazing benefit to Synology is that it utilizes FileStation, a web-based fast and secure management tool built to allow easy drag and drop operations without requiring any complex setup on Mac or PC devices. Advanced search also and filter tools allow you to really organize your data while being able to share your files. Like most Synology units, the most useful tool is storage. Since this is basically a computer, it offers some other very interesting options which can easily be found in their app store. Synology offers an extension of various different apps that allow you to preview photos, file viewing, music, and playing movies, all in one centralized location versus several hard drives. 
Connectivity is also a very beneficial aspect to Synology. It allows you to connect through USBs and Ethernet cables. And another good thing is that it allows you to connect remotely using the router and wireless system. Now this is super beneficial for myself and Maori because half the time we don't want to see each other or interact when we're editing or when dealing with specific content. So Maori is able to sign in and access all the files and anything that we've ever created on the Synology platform and be able to you know, communicate with me on an ongoing basis while we're doing any production. And this is just such an incredible way to show the effectiveness of this system. Synology Manager monitors the health of the hard drives. This is very useful because it reduces your chance of losing valuable data and it will alert you if there's ever a hard drive failure. Now with a typical hard drive on your computer at home, a failure could be catastrophic. And believe me, I've experienced this several times before. The beauty of Synology is that if you do get a hard drive failure, you can simply pop out the hard drive and replace it. It's been designed to store and of course protect your data by using multiple hard drives and a concept called redundancy. If one hard drive fails, you can replace it and none of your data is lost. This is done using a RAID setup, which stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks. Now, of course, many of you are probably wondering, well, Alan, this could cost me so much money. Well, yes, but buying hard drives costs you a lot of money. Losing data costs you a lot of money. And paying for all these cloud systems also costs you a lot of money. I currently have a Dropbox membership and I pay monthly for it. And at the end of the year, I do incur costs that I could put towards a Synology system. Synology has different sized units from 2 bay all the way up to 12 bay and each have many different capabilities. So no matter how much data you need to store or whatever your budget is, you can find a Synology NAS system that works for you. Now the beauty of Synology is that again, you don't have to start with the entire system. You can start small and expand as you need. This is very useful because it allows you to still manage all your data in one place without having to worry about hundreds and hundreds of independent hard drives. Now if I haven't convinced you already to get a NAS Synology system, there's one last thing that's super important. It's that it's just beautiful looking. The design, the aesthetic, it just fits well with every space and I'm in love with it. <laughs> So I really hope today's video was useful for you guys. I definitely recommend you guys take a look at Synology's devices just to see what would work for you. This is something that's gonna be very life-changing in a way that's gonna allow you to be more effective with your work. You're gonna make much more progress. If you have people that work for you or your small business, this is a great way to really centralize all your data and to be able to protect it, which is just as important. So be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And leave me any questions that you guys have down below. I'll be sure to answer them. And as always, I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.